Hello, students. Hope all of you are doing very well. So as we are very close to our Olympiad exams, so here today we have come with a paper of grade six, a sample paper. So we will discuss the paper. And I hope the discussion of this paper will help you in your preparation for your Olympiad exams. So before I start with the paper, let me tell you the question pattern. So here you will get 10 questions. The first part will consist of the logical reasoning. It will have 10 questions and each question will carry one mark each. So that is 10 marks. OK, in the second part, it will be the questions from science and there will be 35 questions of science and each question will carry one mark each. And the last part is the achiever section. So in this section, you will have five questions and each question will carry three marks. So a total of 50 questions that you have to complete within one hour, right? So let's start with the discussion of the paper, okay? So coming to the first question, the first question says in a certain code language, nation is written as L C K R M P. How will sector be written in the same code? So here you can see that nation, they have followed a rule. The rule is the first letter will go back to and the next one will go forward to right so just like sector s e c t o r sector so sector back to if we go so i'll just write back to if we go it will be q e forward to it goes e f g so g and then c back to again then it will be a and t forward to then it will be b o back to it will be m and r forward to it will be t so our correct answer is option number b coming to question number two Select the figure from the option which satisfies the same condition of placement of dots as in the given figure. So here you can see the figure and the correct one where the placement of dots will be correct will be option number B. Coming to question number three, find the missing number if certain rules is followed either row wise or column wise, right? So the rule followed here is 7 plus, I'll just write here, 7 plus 12 plus 9 is equal to 28. And 28 divided by 2 is 14. Next, 8 plus 16 plus 10 is equal to 34. 34 divided by 2 is 17. So in the third case, 15 plus 13 plus 8, it will be 36. And 36 divided by 2 will be 18. So in this one, it will be 18. So our correct answer is option number A. Question 4. Find the minimum number of street lines required to draw the given figure. So if you mark here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and the last one is here 11, right? So 11 is our correct answer. Question number 5. In a row, Navia is 7th from the left and left end and 15th from the right end how many people are there in the row so here we have to to find the actual position of navia in the uh, in the row and the number of people what we have to do from the left end navia was seventh position and from the right end navia was 15th position so we will just add 7 plus 15 
minus 1. So this minus 1 is Navya herself. So it is 22 plus one, minus 1 that is 21. So our correct answer is option number D, 21. Okay, question number 6. Group the given figure in three classes on the basis of their identical properties using each figure only once. So here we can see figure 1, 5 and 9. These contains two similar figures attached to each other. While 2, 6 and 7. These three contains two different figures, one inside the other. While 3, 4 and 8. These are all pentagons. So our correct answer is option number D, 159, 267 and 348. The three groups that the question is asking. Question 7. Shruti is the daughter of Lalit, who is the son of Raj. Nidhi is the sister of Shruti. How is Nidhi related to Raj? So, Shruti is the daughter of Lalit, right? Shruti is the daughter of Lalit and Nidhi is the sister of Shruti. So, Lalit is the father of Shruti and Nidhi. So, Shruti and Nidhi, they are sisters and Lalit is the father. And Lalit is the son of Raj. Lalit, who is the son of Raj. So Lalit is the son of Raj. So how is Nidhi related to Raj? So Raj will be as uh, Lalit is the father of Nidhi. So Raj will be the grandfather of Nidhi, right? So our correct answer will be option number A. That is Nidhi is the grand granddaughter of Raj. Question 8. Select the correct water image of the given combination of letters and numbers. 4, 5, C, M, S, Q, 2. So this from the sequence only we can very easily relate, it, relate that option A is the correct answer which indicates the correct mirror image of the given combination. Question number 9. If uh, the question says is dollar stands for into, at the rate stands for plus, hashtag stands for, uh, what is this? Hash, hashtag stands for bracket, okay? And uh, star stands for minus, find the value of 7 at the rate 15. Uh, okay, let's write down. So, so 7 at the rate is plus here. 15 hashtag is oh hashtag is divide here this is divide okay hashtag is divide 3 then dollar dollar is dollar is here into so 3 into 6 and star is minus here minus 2 right so 7 Plus, this will be first way to do the divide. So, 7 plus 5 into 6 minus 2 multiply. So, 7 plus 30 minus 2, 37 minus 2, that is 35. So, 35 is the correct answer. Question number 10. The given question consists of a set of three figures X, Y, and Z showing a sequence of folding of a piece of paper. Figure Z shows the manner in which the folded paper has been cut. Select a figure from the option which would most closely resemble the unfolded form of Z. So here X, the first fold, then Y, the second fold, and this is Z. So when we open the paper, so there should be a box here, square box here. And in each part, there will be two circles here. So there will be a total of eight circles. So our correct answer is option number B. 
Question number 11. So this part starts with the science question that comprises of one mark each. Question 11 says an electrical circuit containing three bulbs X, Y and Z is given below. When the switch is closed, the glowing bulbs is or R. So here we can see that bulb Y and Z are connected to the wire making a complete circuit. Unlike bulb X, why? Because bulb X is attached to bulb X is not attached. See, there is no attachment of bulb X, right? So this is just to confuse you. So hence only Y and Z bulb will glow when the switch is closed. So answer will be option number C. Question number 12, match column one and column two and select the correct option from the given code. So Uranus, Uranus is made up of gases and ice that takes 84 Earth years to revolve around the sun. So P is three. Pluto, Pluto is it does, uh, no longer it is there. So Pluto was a planet, but now classified as a dwarf planet because it is very, very far away from us. Next is Mercury. Mercury, Mercury, it takes 88 days to complete one revolution around the sun and does not have any natural satellite. One. And Earth, it is the only, it has only one natural satellite that is the moon. And here is the existence of life. So 2 is 4. So our correct answer is option number D. Question number 13. Read the given statements and select the correct option. Statement 1 says the axis passing through geographical north and geographical south coincides with the axis passing through the magnetic north and magnetic south. And statement 2 says magnetic field of the earth is considered due to iron and nickel present in the crust of the earth. So here we know the Axis passing through the magnetic poles is tilted at an angle. Approximately it is 11.3 degrees with the with respect to the axis passing through the geographic poles. And the magnetic field of the earth is considered due to the motion of the molten iron and nickel present in the outer core of the earth. So here both the statements are completely false. So D is our correct answer. Question number 14. The given pie chart represents energy generation in India by different sources. Select the correct set of sources with their approximate percentage energy generation contribution. So P is 49.3, Q is 30.2, R is 11.2 and other part is 7.7 .7 and 1.6. Right? So, P being 49.3, it should be fossil fuel. Q having 39.2, it can be any natural resources, wind or sun energy, or sun solar energy. And R being 11.2, it can be the hydroelectric. Hydro energy right so our correct answer is option number b question number 15 read the given statement and select the option which correctly identifies them as true and false for first statement says for a lady traveling in a bus her co-passenger is at rest whereas the person passing nearby is in motion this is true the unit like cubit length, uh, length of foot and distance of step are standard unit for measurement of length. This is false because it is variable, right? These are not same for others. So these are variable units. So it cannot be used as the standard unit, right? Option three says the value of length now, the value of length of 1 lakh centimeter is equal, equivalent to 
one kilometer. Yes, it is. So this is true for a person traveling because achha, let me explain this to you because one lakh. I will just I'll just write one LK. One lakh centimeter means one zero 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 centimeter, right? That is equal to one kilometer. So this is true. And the fourth one for a person traveling along a circular path, this is covered in one round will be zero. This is false. Why? Because for a person who is traveling along a circular path, the displacement will be zero for complete round, while the distance is never zero. Distance will be a definite value. Displacement can be zero, but distance will have a definite volume. So this is false. So our correct answer is option number A. Question number 16. The given figure represents two location of the moon. The highest tide will form. So this is the location of the moon. Achha. So tides of highest height are formed when with the greatest difference between the high tide and the low tide. So in the first case, we can see that the moon, the earth and the sun, they are all aligned in a straight line, right? So these will cause gravitational pull to the maximum. And this will cause high tides, right? So these high tides are also known as the spring tides. So our correct answer will be option number A. Question number 17. A wire is wrapped around a rod such that the turns are not overlapping as shown in the given figure. If length of the wire is 18 centimeter, the length of wire used in one turn is 0 0.04 millimeter, then the number of turns in the wrapped wire will be. So here the it is said that the length of the wire is 18 centimeter. Okay, and the length of the wire per turn. So length of the wire per turn is 0 0.04 millimeter so if we convert it it into centimeters so it will be 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 centimeter correct so now if we have to find out the number of turns okay so then what we have to do we have to just divide 18 divided by 4 into 10 to the power minus 3 so it will be 4 Five zero zero. So C is the correct answer. 